In our video right now, we're going to talk about datum dimensioning and aligned dimensioning and just the overall dimensioning process of a working drawing. So the first thing I'll do is actually create an IDW. Here's our drawing template. So for base view, I'm going to find the file that I want to dimension. So there's the file. There's the front view. Then I'll hit the triangle and give me the top view, the right side view, and an isometric view. Then I'll click OK. I always want to go ahead and double click the ISO view and put shaded on there. Now, the, before I get going too crazy here, I'm going to go ahead and I will get the automated center lines up because these do have holes. So I'm going to just click, and then I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and select all of these views. And I'll right click and I'll say, automated center lines. For this, I usually take the first three, so there's a hole, fillet, and any cylindrical features. And then for projections, I'll do both. This way I'll get a center mark and center lines. Then I'll click OK. And you see that it automatically generates those. Now I'll go to annotate. We're going to do baseline dimensioning, which is the same thing as datum dimensioning. So I'll click that in. Then I'll just click the line. So I'm going to click here, and here, and here, and then this line. Then I will right click and I'll hit continue. Now I will left click to place them, but I need to remember, and this is very important, to right click again and say create. If I don't do that, these dimensions will go away as soon as I click on something else. So I'll go ahead and baseline again. And I'll see this line and the center mark and the middle line and the center mark and the bottom line. So I've selected every increment. I'll right click again and say continue. I'll just pull them over here. Left click, then right click and select create. I will go ahead up here to the top and I'll do the same. And I'll hit continue. And I'll go ahead and bring it down, left click, right click, and say create. Now, I always have the kids do that because that way they can for sure make sure everything is dimensioned. Now, we're going to have some duplicates that we can get rid of, though, like the 2 is already here. The 10 is already here. So I'm just going to actually have them click that and hit delete. Click this one and hit delete. Okay, now we just need to get the hole and thread notes done as well. So I clicked hole and thread. And then I'll click on these. And that's pretty much datum dimensioning or baseline dimensioning. Now also, the other part of the project says to go ahead and do aligned dimensioning. So let me show you what that looks like. What I can do, after I've got all the dimensions placed, is I can actually right click on the number. And I'll go down to where it says new dimension style. Then over here, I'm going to go to where it says text. And then I'll go over here to linear. So this is a vertical dimension line. So I can click here. And there's, there's what we're used to, the horizontal. Here it would change it to vertical. So I'll click that, and then I'll click OK. And now you notice the 4 has turned. OK, to do the same thing, here's a 3. So I'll right click it, go to new dimension style text, go over here to our linear dimensions, and then I'll just change it to inline vertical. And you see it changes as well. Because this is already horizontal, it's not going to want to change that. It's only really going to change your verticals. 